want to take a few moments today to talk about the sacral center or the sacral chakra that's in the human design um, field. So I'll have a little um, chart here that's going to have a circle around it. That's your sacral center. Sacral centers are really here for um, the magic of desires, knowing consistency or inconsistency of what it is that you really want in life. And if you have the sacral fill, then it means that you are one or two, one of two energy types. You're either a generator or a manifesting generator. If that area is colored in or what we call defined. And if it is defined, it's actually like an inner pendulum that you carry around with you that gives you the ability if you're, if you have questions about things or trying to get answers because you're starting to learn to, that when events come up, you have an opportunity to respond because that's what manifesting generators and generators get to do. They get to respond to the world, which means when things come across the conveyor belt of life, you get to say yes, no, 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 yes. Because in the ultimate way that a manifesting generator or generator are to be experiencing life because they are considered the work force of the world. They are the workforce of the world. And when you can spend some really amazing, juicy time learning that you don't need to be doing the things that people have told you you were good at, or that you've been conditioned into believing this is your life path and what you're supposed to be doing, when you start to tap more into your human design chart, you start to utilize and learn these major tools that we've had laying dormant for many of us, right? That can help us get into the flow of how we're meant to operate and not how life, family, cultures have taught us that we should be. And it can be kind of a big wake up call when you discover this, but the sacral center um, for us is the way in which you can hear your yeses and your noes as the opportunities of life come across to your world on your conveyor belt you get to learn to listen to the sacral and not the head region. Because we think, we think, we process, we get ideas, we have inspiration, and then we formulate ideas from those from those moments of inspiration of trying to figure out the answers of things. And we've really been conditioned for many years to think that this is the region that gives us the answers. It's not the region that gives us their answers. And especially if you have that sacral as a manifesting generator or generator colored in, it means that that is the place in which you get to trust and lean into your gut visceral responses to the world. It's really, truly magical when you learn all about that. So the best thing that I could tell anybody who is discovering this um, information about human design and you have this filled in for yourself or what we call defined, that for you, Yes and no questions is the only way you can actually utilize that sacral energy. Any open-ended questions brings you back up to your head space, and it's not a space in which you can make decisions from. So whether you are in the midst of trying to figure something out for yourself, or maybe a partner's coming in and asking you various questions to help you get clarity, just know if the questions are not formulated in a yes and no answer, you will um, you will not be able to feel that gut response because the gut doesn't have anything that it can say, yes, I want this or nope, it's not right for me. Trusting, playing with this a little bit more, breaking it down, and it can be as silly as, here's a great example, as silly as, let's say your you know friend calls you up, said, hey, what do you want to do tonight? Um, that's not a yes or no question. It's a very broad thing. So you don't have a, a visceral gut reaction to it. Instead, you'd be like, hmm, um, yeah, I don't know. What is there to do would be a typical answer that we would give back because we don't have anything concrete to bounce off of. And then they would say, oh, well, do you want to go out to dinner? Ah, there's a yes, no. Yeah, I think I want to do that or no. And then you can go further. Well, what do you want to eat? Mm, very broad question. Break it down. Um, or if you have a meeting coming up, and they're really wanting you to describe or give detail about maybe a project you've been working on. So they're gonna ask you questions. Well, what do you think of this project? So within your mind, you need to break down the question. So if somebody comes to you and they're giving you the open-ended scenario, make sure you go back and give yourself um, the question of yes and no's. So, well, what did I think of the project? Let me tell you what I think. Did I think it went, did I think the project went smoothly? 
No, because then you're going to feel it. Do I think that there's better ways of doing it? Yes. And so what you're doing, you're setting yourself up for those yeses and those noes responses for it. But it truly is a magnificent tool for manifesting generators and generators. And if you are not one, but you have someone in your family who does have um, that energy type, how you propose, especially to children, how you propose those questions to them will make a big difference because you're going to learn to tap into and activate their sacral. All right, if you want any more information, go below, go down below and check out my website. Thanks, guys.